Hello, Collective. Welcome back to my platform. Thank you for watching as always. Please remember to like, comment, share, subscribe to the channel. If you just feel like watching is a okay, I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families as always. Please remember to stay in the purest of white light always. Okay. Real quickly. I return to source. I return to sender or negative energy and intent being sent to you and your loved ones immediately and permanently. All negative plans of the enemy against you is dismantled or dismantled immediately and permanently. As I have said, so shall it be. Okay, honey, we see someone here. We see the seven of swords. So you could have either someone that's sneaking away from a group of people because the truth has been exposed or this is a thief being exposed. Ah, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, mercy, mercy. Mm. Someone's twin flame has fallen from grace. Someone's contract with a twin flame has been void. Let me quit playing around. Let's go ahead and get into this message. Someone is absolutely exposed. Someone may have taken actions against you, against someone else, with a group of people. Someone may have pissed a spirit. Yeah, Lord have mercy. It's not looking pretty. Is it the Queen of Cups? Someone is exposed. This, this could be a woman that was pretending to be something that she's not. Someone was pretending to be divine. Someone was pretending to be unique. Someone was pretending to have gifts that she does not have. Someone has been pretending to be a whole lot. Okay, this person could even be pretending to be a queen of cups and she's not. I'm telling you, and she's going through an ending. Have mercy. Have mercy on our soul. It's not looking good for somebody. Whoever this woman is. Yeah. Yes. Okay, let me let me stop playing around. <laughs> let me stop playing around. Someone is absolutely exposed. Someone has been doing a lot of sneaky stuff behind the scenes. And someone did not expect to get caught up in what she has been doing. She thought she would keep this routine up for a long time. This is someone that has been committed to what she has been doing. It was all planned out. It was not a mistake. This is not something that just happened one, two, three times. This is someone doing it for maybe months weeks years possibly for some of you only to trap herself someone was planning to come towards you to pick some type of fight with you and immediately your ancestor says i don't think so i absolutely do not think so you are going the wrong direction do not come near our child stay where you are with your drama you know some of us we are out here trying to grow heal elevate in life and there are people out here that don't want to do the work to heal and grow. They want to pretend to be other people. And this is what this woman is. <clears throat> this, could, this could have something to do with either a masculine or some type of opportunity. Or this person just does not want to see you in the best light. Uh, she don't want people to see you for who you are. But deep down she knows that you are truly a queen of cups. But she's been pretending to be you. Someone has been pretending... I don't know if this person was a uh, angel before, maybe a long, long time ago in one of her lifetimes. But in this one, this is not an angel. This is someone who has fallen from grace, cannot regain herself, cannot recover. This is not good. It's that someone's plan led to a trap for them. Someone's plan led to a trap, led to an ending for them. Someone is finito. They cannot recover. There is something about this person being stuck in their mind. This is the Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups. That's in her mind quite a lot. Possibly some type of mental illness going on as well. We have a lot of swords out here already, and we only have six cards. That's alarming. Extremely alarming. Okay? This is someone with some type of mental imbalance. Her mental is shaky, shaky, as my people from West Africa say. You shake, you, you shaky, shaky. Her mind is not balanced. This is someone imbalanced. This, these are the friends you have to you have to look out for. These are the friends that when they are around you, anything you tell them is for the next year. 
These are the friends that go probing into your business just so they can spread it to other people. These are the friends that are not really friends. They pretend to be your friends just so they can fake it to other people. But the whole time they're pretending to like you, they don't give a dang about you. I was going to say something else, but I'm not going to say that. I'm going to be a lady. <laughs> Because that's apparently what I am, a lady or whatever that is. Anyways, yeah. So these are the type of friends that you just, it's best to not have friends. With friends like these, you don't need enemies. They're everything in one and then some, okay? This absolutely, I have a feeling, has to do with someone coming towards you. This woman does not want some, someone coming towards you to give you some type of offer, to form some type of friendship with you. Oh, 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 oh. A couple of days ago, so I was sitting on my couch minding my business as I always do. At this point, I feel like my couch is an antenna between the spirit realm and me. Because when I sit on that couch, honey, I start having visions and things like that. Anyways, I was sitting on my couch minding my business and spirit decided to give me some tea. I guess they thought I was bored, so I needed some entertainment or something, you know. Anyways, I'm sitting there and in my... Mind's eye, I see this man comes to my home and he's standing in my living room and he looks like he has something to say to me, but he can't get the words out. And I'm just looking and waiting for the person to say something, but he's not ordering anything. He looks embarrassed and things like that. Um, but it was very brief. It was just like a glimpse of him and he looked embarrassed, didn't want to say anything. He wanted to be mindful of what he said. It's like he knew who I was, what I was. Um, and he was just uh, terrified. He was embarrassed, something. So this is letting me know, for some of you, there could be a masculine that's coming towards you, wants to give you some type of offer, is embarrassed, possibly because he did something to you in the past, may have undercut you, stole from you, blocked you in some type of way. There's some type of malicious plans that has been exposed that someone was carrying out. He may have chosen this person over you, something of that nature. Um, I don't want to lie to you. I don't understand what was going on. I just know this person had a lot to say, but they couldn't get it out. I also know I've been hearing something. Honey, you all can call me crazy if you want. That's my middle name at this time. By this time in my life, it's crazy. I've been hearing something about a masculine that has been drinking quite a lot. This person is drinking to kind of max, mask down all of the emotions they're feeling is that someone betray another person really bad and they're feeling bad for it. It's hunting them. They don't know how to move forward. They don't know how to recover. Um, so they're drinking a lot. Someone is holding quite a lot of feelings and emotions in. They don't know how to let it go. They're too afraid to say something to you because they don't want you to be angry with them or they don't want you to cut them off. Something of that nature. Anyway, sir, if you watch me, the role you are on is not the right one i'm i'm not sure what you did to whoever you did it to but it's okay it's probably best for you to take time to heal put the bottle down put the the shots put them down i see you like you're just down and stuff it's like it's like you just you don't want to have to deal with your emotions but oddly all the drinking you're doing is not helping with pushing your emotions down even away is that you're still having to deal with them so the drinking is not really help, helping right it's just something for you to do at this point you have like a problem you don't know how to deal with it and you think and so drinking you think you're handling one problem by creating another problem for you whoever you wrong i don't think they're even holding anything against you um and I'm pretty sure, like, if you reached out to this person, they're probably going to give you a listening ear. So put the drinks down. I don't care, like, how bad things have gotten or what bad someone did to you. We should never be so angry at people that we wish them to be in that kind of state. Because the state I saw this, I see or hear this masculine in is not a good one. This is someone, like, that's leading themselves to, like, an early grave, okay? Um, but the masculine that I saw, I'm telling you early grave the masculine that i saw in my vision this person was like huge um and i don't mean like fat or anything but he was just very tall looking like maybe six five something like that six feet tall anywhere from six feet to maybe six five something of that nature i'm hearing six seven 
Um, but he was just, he didn't know how to talk to me. He didn't know what to say. He was just standing there looking at me, trying to get one word out, but he couldn't. Uh, so someone has something to say to you and they just cannot get it out because they are afraid of you being angry with them. They're even afraid of you forgiving them but rejecting them at the same time. Like they said, yeah, I forgive you. I'm not really holding what you did to me. Um, I'm not holding on to what you did to me. I'm not bitter or anything like that. But I think it's best for you and I to just kind of go our separate ways. We don't need to be friends. We don't need to get back together. Whatever the situation is. Um, but this masculine is not doing too well. Okay. Yeah, someone thought they were going to betray you. They celebrated a little too early, which is why we have this Ten of Swords coming up before the Three of Cups. Someone absolutely thought they had victory over you, only for them to be equal to shame. And it's not just this woman, it's her friends as well, which is why this Three of Cups is out here. There could be a group of three or more people behind the scenes that thought that they had destroyed you. They thought they had overcome your enemies. You know, they're always happy when they give like one thing over you is that yes i got her to stomp her toes yes meanwhile the whole time your freaking big toe your nails was hanging up and you needed to get like let, let it you needed you needed to let go of that nails and source was that you know what we are sick of you walking around with this chip nails it is time for it to go so you stumped your toe that nail fell up now it's time for the new one to grow and your enemies are there celebrating that they got you to stomp your toes have mercy. Anyways, the war, the reason, that, the part, honey, I can't talk today. I have a lot to say, but you know, somebody does not want me speaking. But honey, I'm too advanced at this time for you to do anything to block my speech. The fact that I'm using the word mercy means that someone wants you to have mercy on them. That's not a word that I use frequently. And I don't think it's a word people use frequently either. So someone most definitely wants mercy from you and from spirit, from source, because they did something really bad. I just heard someone went above and beyond to do something to you, to do you something. But please, collective, if you are in my soul tribe, do not let other people's actions turn you bitter. You know, forgive people. Even if you need to forgive them from a distance, go ahead and do that. But don't let anything turn you bitter because this is when you're bitter at heart, it blocks your blessings. It prevents your ability to manifest uh, abundance in your life. You could be someone that's naturally abundant, but because you're not forgiving, you're not able to manifest the life that you want or deserve. This is why people always say you have to forgive for yourself. It's not because the other person deserve it, but it's for your own good. It's for you. So don't hold anything in your heart. Okay, don't let don't let any malicious person turn your heart cold or bitter, no matter what is going on in life. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Uh huh. It's like these people celebrated. There is some union, honey. A union. There is a union people do not want coming together, and there's specifically a Queen of Cups in the reverse. Because this temperance is is in the reverse, in front of her, this is someone in the reverse. There is a Queen of Cups specifically in this group that does not want a masculine coming towards you. She does not want two people or coming together. This means that this woman has been bad mouthing you behind the scenes. Some of you may not even know who this woman is. This could be someone you consider a friend at some point or someone that just tells people that you two are friends. You may have never been a friend with this person. You were just courteous to this person. This person could be making up a whole lot of stories about you and things like that, making it making people think that they know you when they don't really know you. So someone is up to a lot. Someone got their friends involved in something that they didn't understand. They thought they were going to win. And this is something, like I said, they've been doing for a long time. Someone thought they had all of their I's dotted, T's crossed, they had everything in place for this malicious plan to keep going. 
But someone has been told, because this is someone that goes to practitioners, someone has been told or a group of people have been told that you're still getting this offer. You are still passionate about life. You are still moving forward. Someone may have been doing some type of magic to stop you from either talking, moving forward in life, taking care of yourself, whatever it is. But they're being told you're still moving on. You still have this offer coming in. You're still passionate about life. You're still the dreamer that you were created to be. Your intuition is still intact, right? Someone wanted to strip you of your gifts and things like that, but you're absolutely still gifted. They cannot take what is yours. What you have is embedded in you. It is part of you. It cannot be taken away. Someone is jealous of you is what I just heard. Envy, envious, I heard that word too. It's that someone is just, nah. Yeah, someone knows that you are absolutely cut through, but in the upright. So this means that they cannot just come towards you and BS you around. Someone was working with a queen of swords behind the scenes. A lot of different people. This queen of swords is showing her face possibly because she may have ended up putting an end to something that has to do with collaborating with this woman. Um, but absolutely, some decision has been made. Um, and things are not going in the favor of this woman that has been working against you behind the scenes. Is that people are just kind of tired. Is that, aren't you tired yet? That like you've been talking about this person for like a year now, two years, three years, two months. Like this person is not paying you any mind. Like let it go. You have issues. I'm telling you, someone has mental issues. Someone is trapped in their mind. Someone thinks you're up against them, but it's been a one-sided competition. You don't. You, you don't compete. And then, madam, how can you be competing where you do not compare? You are out here in the reverse. Source is not with you. You don't have any protection. You are exposed for being a thief in one way, shape, or another. Your ancestors have left you. You don't have any protection. You're going through karma. You may not be feeling too well. You have a lot, a lot of mental source out here. Like You have a lot of source out here, so your mental is not stable. And then the Eight of Swords, honey, you got to sit down somewhere. Take care of yourself. You are going down a rabbit hole with no end. You're going to keep going. You, you see, Alice, there was an end to the hole, to the rabbit hole. But you, you're just going to keep spinning and spinning and spinning and spinning. I'm telling you, this Queen of Swords has decided to do the right thing. She is advocating for someone in the background. She's like, I'm sick of this mess. She could have been working with this woman and another woman in the background. Um, the energy, the whether it's masculine or feminine, please apply it where it fits. But this woman is absolutely taking actions to do the right thing. She does not want to be part of this nonsense anymore. It's not leading to nothing. They expected to defeat you, but you're still moving. It's like, let me use a, a social media, for example. Is that people trying to block your work? And they want to discourage you from moving on, from keep from you posting consistently, but every day you're waking up and still posting consistently. And they're getting angrier and angrier and angrier behind the scenes. So they start taking actions and things like that. Maybe they're talking ill to your subscribers, whether you're on TikTok, YouTube, Instagram, whatever you're on. They start, you know, speaking very ill of you to your subscribers to discourage them from supporting you, from following you just overall but it's like nothing they do is working because you are touched by the most high so people like what you do people like what you have to say so they're still showing up and watching your content meanwhile the haters are still showing up to watch your content as well so you're just growing like the most high intended you didn't do anything to deserve what these people are doing and this queen of swords may see that it's not leading anywhere okay it's not leading anywhere I'm telling you, I'm telling you, you're still getting your abundance. You are still getting your abundance. Judgment has been called. Your ancestors have stepped in and said, we're sick of you. We are sick of you, madam. Sit down. I beg, would you sit down? Someone has been sat down and it's not in a good way. Someone was hoping to recover from something, something but they cannot. Someone has lost. Someone is hiding. Someone does not want to be seen. Someone is like behind closed doors. If the if her friends are calling, if family are calling, they don't want to answer. They don't want to respond. Someone is MIA. For some of you, there's a woman here that is sick. 
and having a hard time recovering, she may not recover for some of you. With this Ten of Swords out here, Four of Swords and Eight of Swords, someone may not recover. This may be it for them. They didn't expect this. It's like, I'm going through this for magic, for doing magic? It's like, yes. This person put Ten Swords in your back and your ancestors did the same to her. They said, here, hey, 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 madame, come, 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 come. Here are your ten swords. We are returning it to you. Woman down, man down. Okay? Now she wants to recover, but she's trapped. This woman is trapped in her head. She may have some legal issues going on. Someone is in like a deplorable state mentally, emotionally, psychologically. Someone is having a mental breakdown. For some of you, these people may want to invite you to some type of celebration. Do not go. They're, they're, they're trying to gaslight you. It's like they know there are consequences coming for actions they took against you. So they want to maybe invite you to some type of celebration to extend an olive branch to you. But that olive branch is fragile as can be. It snaps easily. You see this uh, Knight of Cups out here? It's going to snap as soon as you bend. You don't even have to bend it. All you have to do is like shake like dust. So they may be planning to invite you to some type of event so that they can pretend to be sorry, pretend like they didn't know what was going on, pretend like they care. They don't. These, these types of people do not. Okay. Someone wants to say, oh, we didn't know what she was doing. You know, none of I, none of us had any idea. We thought she was doing the right thing. We thought she was telling the truth. You know, we trusted her, blah, 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 blah. Meanwhile, all of these people, they had access to you, all collectives. They had access to you and could have asked you at any time. Hey, we heard this. Madame said this about you. Did you do that? And you would have been given the opportunity to clear up your name, clear up the situation. But... They didn't. They all participated in this woman's shenanigans. And now it has come back to bite them because there could be legal proceedings going on. Someone is set to lose quite a lot. And someone wants to pick a fight with you. This woman could want to pick a fight with you. This woman could want to pick a fight with you. Okay? Because this is someone angry and bitter. They're not seeing the wrong that they did in this situation. She's not seeing the wrong in it. She's just seeing that, oh, because of you, my friends have turned on me. Because of you, I've lost my job. Because of you, this and this and that. But they said, no, it was because of you. You took action first. You were the one who stole from someone. Someone is trying to steal something from you or try to steal something from you and your ancestors said, absolutely not. Their ancestors have left them. They're not protecting them. They're like, hey, I don't know who you think we are, but we don't have nothing on these people, on these beings. We need you to stop what you're doing. And this person thought they were invincible. Someone has done this before. This is not their first time. Someone is easily triggered by other women easily triggered by other women and when she's triggered she goes above and beyond to end you to interfere with your life she does not want people seeing you in a positive light light this is someone malicious and the whole time she told her ancestors were protecting her but the whole time they've been telling her honey stop it don't do it maybe the other people in their past their ancestors were not as you know involved but this woman fooled around with the wrong lineage and found the f out that you all are not to be played with they told her listen if this is the ancestors going at each other your ancestor her ancestors listen tell your kid to leave ours alone we don't have time to play with games i know we please give us time she's gonna change we're trying to guide her to the right direction. Please, we're so sorry. And then it came back again. Listen, we've given her time to back the heck off. She's still not listening. She has one more time. Please, 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 please. We're so sorry. We will work on it. We're talking to her. 
Meanwhile, these ancestors of hers don't have any powers. They don't have any gifts. All they can do is talk to the Most High on your behalf. So they've been talking to, your, to the Most High on her behalf for a long time. And your ancestor said, that's it. We told you to tell her to sit the heck down to back off. And she didn't listen. We're done. She's, she's fooling around with our lineage. Interfering with our elevation. That we have our child out here elevating and healing our bloodline. And she won't sit her behind down. So we're done. So, ten of swords. And they say, you know what? And you all cannot help her anymore. This is the kind of calling your ancestors have. They can decide if your if other people's ancestors can interfere on their behalf. They're like, mm mm. We created this planet, so we decide. We make the calls. We've given you our free will to do as you please. But this child is out of pocket, so you cannot interfere. She has to learn her lesson. So they stepped in, ten of swords, four of swords, eight of swords. It's like, now she'll learn. This is the only way she'll learn. And this is the only way these types of people learn is if they get a taste of their own medicine. The ten of swords for me is what that is. Getting a taste of your own medicine. Not heeding to advice from the right person. Someone here was misguided about you and they took it personal. Someone here is false. And they didn't want people to know that they were false. They were causing illusions and things like that. So they committed themselves to a lie. And it didn't end up well for them. Someone's ancestors are not protecting them because they cannot be protected. Their interference has been interjected. It's like, no. No, we don't have time. Sit, stay over there. She has to learn this lesson. And someone is going through a lesson. A lesson. A lesson. Someone hits the fact that you are smarter than them, prettier. Not that all that stuff matter, but this is how this woman thinks. Some of us, when we see other women, we're not thinking, oh, I'm prettier than her. She's prettier than me. What more do I have than her? What more does she have than me? We don't care about stuff like that. We mind our business. We stay in our lane. These types of people, they want to prove that they are better than everybody else. I'm prettier than her. I have more money than her. I have a car that's, you know, a, a luxury car. I have a this and I have a that. And the whole time, people are looking at them and you idiot. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. These are the types of people that want to know, they want people to know that they have money. So they'll go buy the most expensive car and not really having any money in your bank in their bank account. But the meantime, you, the star seed, the empress, whoever you are, you could have a million dollars in your bank account, but you're out here driving a little Kia, not caring what people think. But this person has to prove that they have more than you. They know more than you do. They're better than you. They dress better than you. Their clothes are better than yours. Meanwhile, they're getting their money from someone. There's a masculine behind the scene funding their lifestyle or a friend behind the scene funding their lifestyle. There's multiple masculines behind the scene funding their lifestyles. So this is someone that depends on other people for their lifestyle. Make it make sense. That's why I don't care if you have $4 in your bank account. That is your $4. Protect it at all costs. Appreciate it. I'm telling you, honey, your ancestors are playing tic-tac-toe, worship, roulette. With this person, absolutely, they have been sat down. Someone didn't take something serious. This is a thief with mental problems. She thinks everything is funny. She thinks everything is funny. <laughs> I did that to her. I got her car done, taken away. Oh, you know, I got her to lose her man. I interfered with this union from coming together. And it was all fun and games, but it's not anymore. Someone is not happy. Someone is exposed and not happy about it. Someone did not expect people to see the truth about them, but people see the truth about her. Someone has lost quite a lot. I'm telling you, I don't have to, you know, Honey, let's leave that there. Someone is not happy. Things are not going in her favor. And it's not accidental.
that this five of cups laying there under this queen of cups, she's not happy, but she's wearing a mask if she's making it outside of her house because someone is having a hard time getting up. Help, I'm falling and I can't get up. This is her. Someone is wearing a mask. Someone has been stripped of their resources. Someone may be being le left out in the cold by her friends because they see who she is now. Someone is going through quite a lot. Someone is being rejected by the very people she got to go up against you based on lies. This is this people not wanting to talk to her anymore. This is someone going from having a group of friends, you know, where she's partying with them, celebrating with them. They've all been friends for 10 years, 20 years, 15 years, whatever it is. And all of a sudden, she's having a hard time getting a hold of anyone to talk to because they know she's full of BS. Okay? BS. Someone is not doing well. It went from a four of cups to a five of cups. That's horrible. Someone was expecting to receive some type of offer, but they're not. They're not receiving that offer. Someone was expecting some type of finances. I wouldn't be surprised if this woman spent money that she did not have because that's how these types of people are. Is that, oh, girl, I have a check coming in. He's going to be spoiling me and this and that. I'm going to spend the last bit of money in my account and go buy some, uh, uh, a Bergen bag or something. And Sora said, oh, okay. They sat back and let her, they said, okay, look, 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 let's let her, let her, let her go get her Bergen bag. Let her. And she went and emptied out her bank account for a Bergen bag. Only for that person to say, nah, man, I don't want to work with you. I don't want to be in a relationship with you. I think you're toxic. I think you're a liar. You misled me. You deceived me. So I don't want to be with you. Okay, this is over. I'm not giving you any money. Blah, 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 blah. I know you're just with me because of my finances and I'm not giving you nothing. And now Madame don't know what to do with herself. Okay. She's got to move on with her life. She's going to be waiting forever for those finances, but they're not coming in. I'm telling you, this was, her, this was her karma. I said that. This was her karma. I said that earlier. This woman is going through karma. This is the wheel of fortune bringing things into balance. It said, you've had your time. You had, you, you had yourself a good time. Causing chaos, mental illusions manipulating people, telling lies and stuff, setting up scenarios to make it look like you were actually genuinely in the right. You are not. So we are bringing things into balance and that wheel started moving and moving. When the first karma happened, she said, oh, that's nothing. I'll get over that. That's nothing. And then they hit her, hit her again. No, oh, yeah, that's nothing. I'll be okay. And this third boop 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 this time she's the chai chineke I don't suffer this is her you're going to be waiting for a while this is not coming in because it's being given to someone else that would be you collective it's being given to you someone is very malicious is what I keep hearing I'm telling you it'll be given to someone else she thought she was trapping you, blocking you, stopping your new beginning. It's not. You're still getting it. And she's she is mentally conf this woman is f up in the head about you receiving this this offer. Someone coming to you, you receiving this money. Someone is pissed off that you are still receiving this money, but this is judgment being called by your ancestors. They say we've had enough of you and your bloodline. They're saying that they don't they don't support what you do, but they're not stopping you. So we have to step in. We are sick of you all. Some of you ancestors are in the light, but the way they move, you would think they're in the dark. Because they don't give two Fs about who they're sitting down. Just to make sure that your lineage is okay. Just to make sure that you are okay and protected. Because they know you don't go around picking fights. So when people pick fights with you, your ancestors don't have a problem with busting a move on those behinds. Someone is learning a lesson the hard way it could have been avoided. 
Someone may have put you through some type of tumultuous experience that you did not deserve and they didn't expect you to get back up, but you are absolutely getting back up. You got back up is what I just heard for some of you. You absolutely got back up and because you chose to get back up and keep moving, you forced the wheel of fortune to keep going. You told them, I want to keep going. This is, this is going to help me learn. I'm going to learn from this experience. Someday I'm going to look back at this experience and I'm going to appreciate it. I know this is part of my elevation, my ascension. Things are not looking good right now, but they are absolutely going to turn around. And you kept pushing forward. Yeah, you kept pushing forward. Absolutely. And now you're going to receive some type of promotion. I'm telling you, you're about to be receiving some type of promotion in life. This will be something you're not expecting. And I said someone may be inviting you to a celebration. Be mindful. Be mindful. There could be some type of ulterior motive. They know why they're inviting you to this celebration. They know why they are inviting you to this celebration. There's a plan. There is a plan. <clears throat> this is not accidental. This is not people being genuine. There could be a masculine that wants you to come around. Maybe he thinks you can heal him. But this person... This person is not staying consistent to their path. That's why they're not healing is what I'm hearing. Someone drinks a lot. I keep being told that. Someone drinks a lot. Someone drinks a lot. This person, I don't know how they are still able to show up to work in the mindset that they are in, but someone is under the influence when they are at work. And I keep being told that someone drinks a lot. Someone has a drinking problem. A whole lot. Someone is going through some type of rule awakening that you're still receiving this offer. I'm telling you. Rule awakening. Someone is in their head like, like, oh my gosh, I got to figure something out. She cannot get this offer. She cannot get this deal. These two cannot come together. I've come, I've worked too hard to block these two from coming together. If he goes to her, I won't have the access to money anymore. I won't have access to his money. He won't spoil me anymore. This is her mindset. So she's, she has taken actions that are hunting her. Because they didn't go in her favor. Someone is not sleeping at night. Because they know that this offer is going to be given to you. This could have been someone that was pretending to be a high priestess as well. Someone that said they were gifted. Even if they are gifted, they don't use their gifts for the right things. This is someone invasive. They look into people's lives in ways that they should not, and they're being stripped of their gifts. They have been stripped of their gifts. And so they may be having like a rule awakening. They can't see what they used to see anymore. If they do terror, when they look at the cards, the cards don't make sense anymore. Things are not communicating. Things are not sinking. There's no alignment. They went from being able to go through everything without even having to look at it, and now they're like, the seven of swords came before the temperance in reverse. That possibly means that someone is, is, is um, could be, it's like, Chai, madame, see how you, see what you've done to yourself. See you, see your life. You are finished. Someone has lost their gift. They cannot see anymore. They don't have access to the spirit realm anymore. They're about to be just regular. Instead of them being the ones people go to for readings, they have to go to other people for readings now. That is a fall from grace. 
the, this is your ancestors doing this. They hit this woman where it hurts because this gift of hers, she's been misusing it and she thought it made her better than everybody else. She thought she was a big bad wolf. She was untouchable. And Source had you encounter this woman for this very reason. She thought she was the most powerful and then she met you and realized she did not have anything as close to what you have. She assumed because she was in the dark and you were in the light that she was more powerful than you. Everything there is comes from the light. So how can you be more powerful? But Source humbled this woman. The very moment she met you, she knew she was done. So because she knew she was done, she started taking actions against you. She knew she couldn't go up against you. This is a high priestess that lies, is what I just heard. This woman lies. She lies a lot. She she gaslights people into believing that they are friends. She has their best interest at heart. She does not. This is someone that misleads. It's like everything she's been doing, this woman has been sending you dark dark energy dark intentions like when she wake up don't let her be beautiful if she wakes up make her be broke make her not want to wake up and take care of herself make her not want to brush her teeth you will not brush your teeth when you wake up you will not take a bath when you wake up you will not eat when you wake up you will not do your job when you wake up you don't feel like going to work when you wake up this is what this person has been doing behind the scenes even doing shut up spells if you are in a relationship she's doing breakup spells just too much, too much behind the scenes. And then when she comes out, oh, hi, honey. Y'all know I love you. I am here for you when you need me to. You don't have money for me to do your reading. It's okay. Because it's okay because she knows the intentions that she's sending you while she's doing those readings. There's one thing coming out of her mouth, but in her mind, it's something else going on. She's speaking spell works over your life, speaking destruction into your life. And these people thought she was a friend. You've got a friend in me. No, she doesn't. This is your enemy. She just knows how to mask herself. That is not a true high priestess. High priestesses, they look out for their clients, their friends, their families without even you knowing They'll know you have something or someone attacking you and they'll interfere on your behalf. If they know you are someone genuine, they don't like let other people F with who they care about. And they're not going to tell you that they're doing things to protect you. Those are high priestesses, not these. These ones send spell work to you without you knowing it. And every day you're going to their house, sitting with them, eating, going out with them. They're calling you your, their friend, their sister, their brother. The whole time, they are causing you endings. Uh, honey, they're causing you endings. This is death in the flesh. This woman causes destruction. Anyone that goes to her for a reading, you're a dunner. You're a dunner. This is someone that makes moves behind the scenes. So if she's done spell works and they're not working, she'll take actions, physical actions behind the scenes to make it look like she's all powerful. And then when you see things going in your favor, you say, oh, she really is gifted. Dang, she's the real deal. Meanwhile, you don't know she's been doing stuff behind the scenes to make things go in her favor. Sis has been making money moves behind the scenes for years. I'm telling you. Gas lighter, impulsive as heck. Someone wants to take action to come towards you, but they cannot block out of your energy. No one has time. There could be a masculine in here that has passion for you. And someone, I just heard, there's a woman in here. This is a woman that has feelings for another woman. She has a lot of passion for you. But she knows you're not into what she's into. And she does not like that. Lord have mercy. There's nothing wrong with uh, being in that community. I don't know if YouTube has a problem with us saying that community names. I'm not going to say it. But you know the rainbow lovers are beautiful brothers and sisters. Someone may be part of that community. You're not. They may have said that you were a part of that community. 
because they don't see you dating a whole lot. They don't see you dating anyone. So they may have said that, oh, she's a this. Meanwhile, you just like to mind your business because you're an empress. You don't like too many people in your energy. So you'd rather stay single than to end up with the wrong person because you've dated the wrong person before. You don't want to go through that again. But people like this, they take it as, oh, I don't see her with any men. So she must be into women. Okay? Someone wants to come in to you, take some type of action. They want to fight you. They think you've let you, you're the reason they've experienced a lot of loss in their life, but it was absolutely not you. It was their own fault. They're devastated as well. Someone is having regret about the actions they took in the past. It's like, I should have stopped. Why didn't I stop? My ancestors told me to stop. Why did I stop? Madam, it's too late. Cry all the tears you want. Cry the, the Nile River if you want to, but it's too late. For someone I'm hearing here, there could be someone that's taking action to come towards you to bring some type of money to your attention or to bring something to your attention, some type of abundance. Okay, some type of abundance. Okay? They're bringing some type of abundance to your attention. You could have a Ten of Pentacles offer. Someone may have left you something. But typically, the Ten of Pentacles has to do with wealth that you've uh, garnered from hard work. You know, like you've actually worked your way up. You put in a lot of work, effort, energy, invested a lot of time into maybe a business and you turned it into an empire and now you can kind of sit back and enjoy life a little bit more. You know, people are working for you. Yeah, things like that. Or someone may want to come in and say that they want to work with you, build a business with you. Something like that now that they know that this person was lying. But I will be mindful of people like this. Whoever wants to come in to you to make this offer. Because if someone will take actions against you because of what another person told them, that's their character being exposed to you. That's their character being exposed to you. And that's alarming. People should never feel comfortable taking actions against others because of what another person said. You can, like for me, you can tell me Mary Jane is something. Oh, she sleeps around. Oh, she's not loyal. Oh, she's this. Oh, she's that. I'm going to look at you like, okay, thanks for letting me know. But if I see Mary Jane, I'm still going to be courteous with Mary Jane. And if something pops up, I'll let Mary Jane know, hey, they told me you were this. I don't get the feeling you're that. And that gives Mary Jane the opportunity to clear, clear her name, right? So people aren't, so she's not coming to work or to school every day looking like something she's not. And we shouldn't even feel comfortable just being loose with our mouths like that, making assumptions about people. I get it if you see something and you say something about it, like you actually saw someone do something. But if you didn't see someone do something, you need to be practical about how and what you are saying about people, right? We all have our kitchen table talk. Don't get me wrong. We all have kitchen table talk. But when you take it to this extent... It's a problem. It's a problem. You have a problem. And then you don't want to accept responsibilities for your actions. You feel entitled to what belongs to another person. You feel entitled to block someone else. Crazy. It's like someone just, someone wants, wants to see you like in a deplorable state where they can say, oh, I won. Is that, is that what we're supposed to do so we can win? I'm telling you, someone is in motion. Someone is on the move. Someone is on the move. Okay, and I said something about news. Someone is on the move. Is that this masculine, whoever it is, is getting away from either this woman, these friends, institution, whatever it is. I see the higher fan out here. Someone could be like, I'm done. Someone has washed their hands. They said, oh, all of you? Nah, I'm done. Someone is in a hurry. It's like they want to 
just leave everything behind. The Six of Swords, this is someone in a hurry. This is someone in a hurry. They're in a hurry to get away, to leave everything behind them. They didn't make any plans to make sure that their obligations at home are being taken care of or nothing. Someone is just like, I'm out. They're taking action. And then you have the Knight, Knight of Wands before them. They're out. They're like, nope, I'm done. They're putting an end to their relationship, whether this is a marriage, whether this is an institution, whatever this is. This person is done. They're putting an end to it. There is over. For some of you, there's a masculine that was married to this woman. And he's done. I'm telling you, he's done. He's done. He said, I'm done with this toxicity. Someone was betrayed heavily by this woman. Heavily. Someone is confident that they, when they put an end to this debacle, whatever it is with this woman, they can come in and have a union with you. They think that's the only way. It's by distancing themselves from this woman. It's like... It's like someone is seeing the truth for what it is now, but the time that they're seeing the truth is like almost too late or it's too late. This is why someone is having nightmares. It's too late is what they keep saying. And they're angry at this woman because it's like, look what you made me do. It's your fault. You told me this person was this. You told me this person was that. And they're not. They're actually genuine. Someone is having a hard time. A hard time. This woman thought she had it all figured out. Someone may want to come in to give you something. There's someone that's like just, they don't know like what to do. Someone is like just, oh, someone is exhausted. They are exhausted mentally, emotional. They're, they are exhausted. Exhausted. It's like this opportunity, whatever it is, someone wants to give to you, but this woman does not want them giving to you. And for some of you, these people are not even married. These are like friends. But she benefits from her relationship with this masculine. So she does not want this masculine connecting with anyone that's in the upright. She wants this masculine to stay connected to people that are in the reverse right not living in the right not doing the right things people going nowhere in life because she's just like that her life is going nowhere so there's no competition with people who other people who lives are going nowhere but you come about and you have your life in life together and she's intimidated by that so she feels like she has to destroy you so every time this masculine takes action to come towards you, she's speaking ill of you. But she's trying to make it look like she's doing something genuine, like she's looking out for you or looking out for this masculine. She's making it seem like you two are friends or she has your best interest at heart, but she's not. This is a deceiver. That's a fin for tail right there for you. That is a fin for tail for you. They know how to manipulate. For some of you, there's a woman that like that likes a masculine and he's not interested in her in that way. And she's bothered by the fact that she wants him, but he wants you. Is that why don't you see me that way? It's like people don't have to see you that way. Get over yourself. Like I'm pretty too. Is that yeah, you're pretty, but you're not in the right mindset. You and I don't have a contract together. I'm telling you this masculine, whoever this is, you are absolutely going to be having wish fulfillment. This woman is telling this masculine that, oh, don't go to her. If you go to her, you're going to lose a lot. She's uh, imbalanced. She's unstable. Basically, everything this woman is is what she's telling this masculine that you are. That's how good this woman is at manipulating. And I don't know where his mind is that he's able to pull, that she's able to pull this off. There could be a masculine too that's doing this to another masculine. If I'm saying he's able to pull this off, there's a masculine that's doing this to another masculine. 
misleading him about a feminine energy. He's still in this other masculine. I don't think you should talk to her. If you do, she's going to lead to an ending. She's not really someone you want to start any type of business with and things like that. Someone wants to give to you, invest in your business, and there's a hater, a bitter person behind the scenes that does not want this person investing in you. And you two are going to be successful if they do, but this person is telling them that you won't be successful. It's going to be a waste of money, a waste of time, uh, that you're not loyal, things like that, and it's a lie. You're loyal. It's a lie. Is an absolute lie. I'm telling you, it'll be successful. It will be successful. Everything you've lost, the enemy from lost at the hands of the enemies, is being restored. You're about to go through some type of growth, like overnight success. It may seem, but it's not. That is because people oftentimes don't see the things, the work behind the scenes. They just see the success. So the thing is overnight. It's not. It's not overnight. Yeah. I'm telling you. You're genuine. But someone is saying that you're not genuine. Someone is telling a masculine that you are not genuine. You're not who you say you are. You're not who you show yourself to be. You're pretending to be something you're not. You have ulterior motives. Blah, 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 blah. But then some of these people are not telling this masculine what all they were doing behind the scenes to knock you down. But even though they knocked you down, you still kept going and you kept your sincerity. You kept your image. You kept your heart. You're still genuine. They're not saying all of that. Some of these masculines don't know what these people have been doing behind the scenes to interfere with your forward movement. But some way, somehow, you've managed to stay wholesome. Yeah, absolutely. And you're still going to receive this offer. Someone is still going to commit to you. They know you're someone sincere. It's like you're telling someone a whole lot about another person. And the whole time they already know the truth. But they're just sitting there and listening to you. Expose yourself every word that comes out of your mouth. But they still plan on doing what they want to do. Because at the end of the day is what is their money. It's their life. It's their choice. They already know what you are. This is like someone saying, oh, you know, she's not independent. He's not independent. He uh, does not have this car. He doesn't have this job. He works as a dishwasher. She works as a dishwasher. And the whole time the person they're talking to is like, yeah, they may not have money, but you don't have money either. I'm the one funding uh, funding your lifestyle. So what do you say about that? What do you have to say about that? They don't have nothing to say. Is that someone trying to expose you, but they're exposing themselves every time they open their mouth? And they don't realize that. This is why it's important for us to focus on ourselves. I'm telling you, you're still going to have victory. Someone wanted you trapped, but they're they're confused. What? <laughs> they still get this offer? How? No. Yes, they still get the offer. Someone wanted you to be mentally trapped, trapped in some type of way, but you still get this offer. You're still getting the offer. Yeah, because the truth is being seen. You're not crazy. You're not in balance. You're not shaky, shaky. You're someone graceful. You're someone strong. You're someone very kind. You bring the best out within other people. You know how to calm the storm team, the beast within other people. You extend a genuine friendship to people, right? You're not a wild card in the way this woman is is describing you. You're someone logical, strategic in the things that you want to do business-wise and things like that. You're family-oriented, right? You deserve the best in life. Anyways, thank you for watching. Let's go ahead and do our angel numbers. 
I don't know what it is. Like every time I come on camera, I don't know how to shuffle. I struggle with shuffling. It's ridiculous. Spirit, what is our angel number of the day? What is your message to us? This was going to come out, so I'm going to put it out. It's the angel number. What's the, what's the worst that could happen? We're just learning, right? We're just hearing the message from the universe, what it wants us to keep in mind. So we have 26, 8, of course. It says you have a desire to succeed and will feel most accomplished when your work benefits others. Your intuitive awareness of what people want allows you to come up with innovative solutions to meet their needs. I am tactful. Hallelujah. 25, oh, 7, 8. Mm, something is progressing. Something is accelerating. Something is growing. You are growing. You're elevating. Okay. You have a great ability to take in and process information on both conscious and some subconscious levels. Lower curiosity is endless and your desires to dive deep into a variety of subjects will bring you an immense awareness of the world i am intelligent this has been coming out a lot i feel like this is the second or ter third time this car has come out so there's definitely something in here that we need to take heed to collective okay and this is beautiful anyways thanks for watching i will see you all in my next video stay blessed goodbye for now